Hello, I'm Pat Nogar of Living Well with Pat Nogar. I'm one of the designers for the Mainline Kitchen Tour. I want to share with you today my approach to creating a beautiful tablescape. The table is a powerful place. It's where we gather. It's where we create life events. It's where life happens to us. It's where we make major decisions. It's also where we create memories. So creating a space for all of that is so special. Let me take you through my approach for creating a beautiful table, step by step. The first and the most important is to determine what your theme is, because a theme is the story that you're telling. It's the occasion that you're celebrating. For my table today, the theme is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in this country is a universal holiday. It's one that we share together. It's memories that we've had of family gatherings, of times with friends. So it's a really fun and special holiday to celebrate at the table. This theme, Thanksgiving, is commemorated by the next step. And the next step of creating a beautiful table is make it yours. And I've made this Thanksgiving table mine by using my grandmother's Thanksgiving dishes. These is, this is Johnson Stoneware from England, Johnson Brothers, and it's perfect for the holiday. And it carries so many memories of me of sitting there at the table with family enjoying Thanksgiving. So building a table around this Johnson Brothers ware makes all the difference in the world for me in creating a table that will tell the story of Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving, and so many other Thanksgivings to the people viewing the table. So making it yours is so important. I always say to people who tell me, I don't have beautiful china, I don't have beautiful crystal, I'm not sure I can create a beautiful table. You can. The first thing you need to do is look around your own house. You will find things that carry such meaning for you. They may not be high-end china or fancy crystal, but they actually will be more meaningful and will be beautiful once you incorporate them into your table. So look around your house and find those things that have meaning for you and build your table around them, as I did my grandmother's Thanksgiving china. The next step in creating a beautiful table is color. What color do you want to use? Because color also tells a story. And one of the fun things about this table today is these dishes have lots of color in them, but it's mostly brown. And for years, I accented these dishes with brown and greens and the colors of fall, oranges, a couple of years ago, I started using blue. But as I was putting this table together this year for this event, I realized that there actually is a lot of pink in this dish. So the, the theme changed, the colorway changed. And you'll see it in the floral arrangement, which we'll talk about in a second. You'll see it in the candles. There are lots of really great touches of pink, especially the placemat, which is a vivid pink, and it totally changed the look of these dishes for me. So what once was something familiar is now something really exciting, and it gives everybody a new idea for using the Thanksgiving colors. The next tip that I have for you is texture. And I love texture on the table because it stops it from being boring. And texture takes its place in many ways. It could be again, let me show you the dish once more, pattern. This Thanksgiving turkey pattern has lots of texture and lots of depth. But we also see pattern and texture in the floral arrangement with all the varying colors, all the varying uh, floral materials that we're using. We also see texture and dimension. Texture doesn't have to be pattern. It can be a dimension. It's what makes your eye move. And we've layered these plates. So we have a placemat, we have a charger, we have a dinner plate, and a salad plate. And you can actually add another layer to that. So you build it up, and all of a sudden, you have this amazing texture on your table. And the eyes moving around the table having the best time. So you want to make sure that the table is not boring, is not flat. Give it some height, some dimension, some texture. The next thing that I want to talk about in making a table beautiful is a natural element. And when we think of natural elements, what are we thinking of? Flowers. Flowers are the perfect thing to put on the table. It's organic, it 
smells good. It's just the perfect centerpiece. From Studio Flora, we have this gorgeous floral tower that just sets the tone for this table. And the natural elements of it, the protea, the winterberry, the magnolia leaves, all of those things come together to create a memorable floral piece that not only carries the theme of Thanksgiving because the flowers actually sort of remind you of the turkey feathers, but it does carry the color throughout this table. All of the colors that are on this table somehow come together in this centerpiece. Then there's the unexpected. You always want your table to have a surprise. You don't want it to be something that people sort of think they know what's going to happen. And the surprise on our table today is our flatware. It looks like branches, and that's really an important element on a table that's filled with organic features. This just carries it through. So it looks unexpected, but it fits right in. So always add an unexpected. It could be a small bowl of candy at each dish. It could be a small floral arrangement at each dish. But you want to add something that is not predictable. I want to go back to the Studio Flora's flowers for a moment. Uh, because really what I'm, I want to say to you about that is to be flexible. This tower originally had four levels to it. And to make it work for this table, we removed one of the levels. So don't be afraid to change things to make them work for what you want. That really is the key to putting a table safe together, is coming up with ideas that appeal to you. Because if they appeal to you, they will appeal to your family and your friends because they'll know it's coming from your heart. The most important part of the tablescape is the people. Every year, more than 500 people tour the houses, enjoy the new kitchens, the food, and of course, our table designs. In your home, it will be where family and friends gather, bringing light to the tablescape that you created for them. So my final tip is don't stress over perfection. Create the table that will help those around the table, your family and your friends, make the memories that are so special for the holiday. Help them remember the special times that happened here. You'll be able to see this video and other videos at NotableKitchens.com. Check back there throughout the year for all the tips that will make you the perfect tablescape.